everyone. Welcome to the Mama Elephant YouTube channel. This is Rena. I hope everyone is doing well. Today we're going to look at some spring goodness for the February 15th release. First up, we have Eggtastic, which is illustrated by Ada Zamora. I love her little iconic bunnies. And my favorite um, <laughs> stamp of the stamp set is the little baby chick on top of the giant egg. I think that is so adorable. I love him so much. Also, there's a set of eggs at the top. There's eight eggs. And there's a die that cuts all of those eggs all at once. Here's a look at the coordinating dies for Eggtastic, and you'll see that die toward the bottom left-hand corner that cuts all of the eight eggs at once. There are new slimline dies for this month. This is Slim Fancy Fence, and it comes with three great pieces that you can use for your slimline cards. I thought I would use my poor neglected <laughs> zig markers today. I haven't used them for quite some time, so I thought I would bust them out. So I'm using watercolor paper here. I'm using the Strathmore Ready Cut Watercolor um, 5x7, and there's like 25 sheets in a pack. Um, I stamped it out in a dark brown color, um, the Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink in Chocolate Truffle. It was a little bit of a rough start because I hadn't watercolored for a while and I should have used Bristol Smooth cardstock because the ink kind of glides on it a little bit easier. I had to kind of get used to the watercolor paper um, and I couldn't find my pen that I usually use to color with and it was just like a crazy mess. So this first one is a little bit rough, <laughs> but um, I finally got the hang of it toward the second image. But these are so fun to color. Um, I'm trying to keep kind of the center part of the bunny um, in a lighter color than the rest. And I'm using um, different spring-like colors. I'll have the zig marker colors I used in the description box. I think for these images, I opted for the watercolor paper because I like the quality that the watercolor paper has and it kind of it makes the Ada Zamora images um, look really nice because they're kind of like story book kind of fairy tale like images and I just think the paper goes with it the watercolor paper goes with it real nice um, but it is harder for me to color on it for some reason um, so here I believe I used the light pink color on this one I'm just trying different neutral colors to see um, which one I liked best so I believe I used um, oatmeal beige blush and the pale pink color for the different bunnies um, and I think I like the beige one the best which is the darkest one which will be the last image that I colored I always like to have my images match and I'm having all of these neutral colors, but the one element that I'm using the same on all of them is the pink ears and the pink blush and I use light carmine for that. So for the different colored eggs, I used some spring colors. So I did a light blue, a yellow green. I love yellow green for spring. Um, a yellow and then also kind of like a bright um, orange color. I bled a little bit on this one, so I'm just tipping the paper so it the water flows where I want it to. Um, and then here's my favorite image. I think this is so cute. I don't know why, <laughs> but he's like so adorable in that giant egg. So I'm just throwing on some color and then I'm just dragging out the color. And um, you kind of just have to watch how much water that you're using to uh, spread it out because it it gets a little bit hard when you put too much water because you can't really lay down more pigment on top of it um, because the water kind of stops it. Um, so this one was my favorite color that I use. I believe this is the beige um, zig marker and I just love like the warm brown that it is. Um, I loved it. Um, so I think next time I color this, I'm just gonna use beige for all of them. Um, 
because I like that one the best. I also really love the blush color, which is not a pink. It's kind of like a pink brown, um, but I do like that color as well um, for the bunnies. I thought I would pair these images with the new Slim Fancy Fence uh, Slimline die. So I'm kind of showing you all of the pieces here. The main piece is that kind of doily frame piece. And I think it it's, screams spring to me for some reason. And also this fence, which goes along the length of the inside of the die. Um, here I'm just showing you the insert piece that comes out when you cut out the frame. And then there's also this great window architectural piece that comes in the set as well. It's amazing what you find in your craft room when you start cleaning it up. Um, it's been a process, y'all. <laughs> but I had bought these uh, pastels. I, I don't know if they're pan pastels, but they're pastels. It's like a powder. Um... And I got them at Michael's and the only reason I got them is because I thought the packaging was cute, which is like a most of my purchases. And um, and I and they were totally on sale. I think that's why, too, because they were just ridiculously on sale. So I got these to try out and I really love them for backgrounds. Um, so I believe I'm just making a sky and... Um, grass. So I'm just using two colors, just a green color and like a light blue color just to create um, a little bit of ambiance in the back. So admittedly, I don't know how to use the pastels. I know people use them for drawings and things like that, but um, for my purposes, I just use a brush and I like to brush on a background just to create a light fog. Um, the one thing about them, well, a couple things, it's messy and also you do have to apply a fixative to them because if you don't, the, the powder will just fall off the paper. So, um, you have to use a fixative. I don't have fixative, but you can use hairspray in a pinch, which I did set all of my backgrounds with hairspray. <laughs> um, so the powder wouldn't fall off the paper. Um, I decided to use the Puffy Clouds die. I love this die set. And I'm just doing some light um, pa pastel blending with just the powder that was left on the brush, just so they weren't stark white. I'm going to use this for the front of the card. I'm also going to use one of the bigger clouds to stamp one of the um, sentiments from the stamp set. And this says, Happy Blessings. And I'm stamping that out using the same brown ink that I used to stamp the images with, the Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink and Chocolate Truffle. Um, so I'll be just stamping that out. Um, I love just how big the sentiment is too, because you know, the slimline card is big, so you want your sentiment to be big. At least I wanted it for this particular card um, to be big. So now we'll put this thing together. I've created a um, the card base, and that is, I cut it eight and a half by seven, and on the seven inch side, I scored it at three and a half um, to make that card base, and I'm just, adhering that doily frame and also the inset piece there and that yellow I did the pan pastels as well um, and I like how solid it looks too and then here I have that fence I love it because you can use all of these different elements on regular size cards as well I'm taking the puffy clouds um, that I made um, and then I'm just adhering them to the top. I just wanted to do my sentiment one first and then work around it. Um, those puffy clouds are from a previous release. Um, so now we're going to take um, the images that we colored and then we're going to lay them on. And I just, I just really wanted this card <laughs> to look spring and I love it. I love yellows. I'm just obsessed with yellows and oranges right now. I have no idea why. Um, but at one time, my favorite color was orange. I remember when I was little, I loved the color orange. Um, so I'm just adhering them all around the card. Um, and then I wanted to put one of those little birds on one of the little baby clouds. 
and um, I just love these little chicks. I colored them as, ch as chicks, but you can also color them blue for little bluebirds. I think that would be so cute also. And here's a picture of the completed card. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. We have some agenda fun. There are two agenda sets releasing for this release, so it's going to be a super fun release. Remember, these products drop on February 15th. I will see you guys tomorrow. Stay safe and happy crafting. Bye, guys.